Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about primitive data type conversion, right? So you can say type casting or type conversion, both are same things. Okay. Uh, you can also call it as primitive data type casting. So the first thing is that you should know what is type casting. So the proper definition is the process of converting data from one data type to another data type is called as type casting or type conversion. Basically, there are two types of casting in Java. The first one is implicit type casting and the second one is explicit type casting. Fine. So this implicit type casting is also known as automatic type conversion or widening and the explicit type casting is also known as narrowing this is clear so we have how many primitive data types eight right eight so these concepts are not applicable for boolean data type remember this point fine for boolean this type casting concept is not applicable boolean primitive data type fine now let's cover the first one that is implicit type casting so what is implicit type casting or automatic type conversion or widening so basically the process of converting data from lower data type to higher data type is called as implicit type casting fine with this definition so this conversion is what implicit and it is done by compiler it means compiler is responsible to perform implicit type casting. So in this type of type casting, there is no loss of data. Okay. There is no loss of data in this type of casting that is implicit type casting. Hence compiler compiles the given class without any error because loss of data is not there. Loss of information is not there. Okay. So it is also known as widening because if we create destination variable with highest range data type, the data size is increased to destination data type size. Okay. That is the reason it is called as widening. Let me explain. Uh, let me explain you this, this point with the help of example. Suppose I have one variable int a is equal to 10. This 10 is a data, right? This is of which type int type and I'm, I'm assigning to the int variable. So this a is pointing to this data that is 10 and here this 10 is of which type int type. That is the reason what is the data size for this 10? The data size is 4 bytes here. Is it clear? Because it is of int type data. So the size is what 4 bytes. Now what I am doing, I am assigning this a to long type of variable. I am assigning this a to long type of variable and this a contains which type of value? Int type of value, right? So basically I am, I am trying to assign an int type of value to long type of variable. So in this case, what will happen? This L will hold 10. Fine. L will hold 10. And now this L is of long type because of that reason, the data size, the data size will change and it will become what now? Size 8 bytes because now this data becomes which type? Long type of data. That is the reason the size becomes 8 bytes. So what is this? 4 bytes to 8 bytes. That is the reason I am saying it is what? Widening. Widening. Fine with the concept? No? Is there any loss if I will assign 4 bytes of data to 8 bytes variable? Is there any loss? Not at all. 4 bytes can be easily accommodated in 8 bytes, right? So no loss here. No loss. So this type of, this type of conversion, this type of conversion is implicit and it is done by which thing? Compiler. Compiler is responsible to do these things. Fine. Now let's see the next slide. So the process is called as widening here. Fine. So 
the following are the various conversions where implicit type casting will be performed see there byte what is the size of byte one byte right short two byte care two byte int int is what four byte right long is what eight byte now float is what four byte and then we have double double is eight byte right so this double is of higher data type and this byte is what lower data type here right and in this direction widening will take place this is the direction of widening for example suppose this all are what the 19 specific conversions on primitive types and this in all the cases we are performing what widening what is this widening cases widening conversion right for example byte to short conversion or byte to int conversion or byte to long byte to float byte to double same short to int short to long in this direction okay so this all are what this all are the various possible con uh, a combination where implicit type casting will be performed this all things so total how many combinations are present 19 so in all these combinations, in all these conversions, in all these conversions, what will happen? Implicit typecasting will take place by the compiler. And this is the direction. Remember this. Remember this diagram. Okay. Fine. Now let's see some examples. So example one. I have taken int x is equal to character. This is what in inside the single quotes B. So it is of which type care type right so basically if i say what i am trying to perform here i am trying to assign the care type of value to the int type of variable right so and then i am trying to do system dot out dot print ln of x you know what will be the output 98 why because the the unicode for b is what b character is 98 so here what will happen internally why i am getting 98 so the reason is you know the compiler here the compiler will convert the char to int automatically by implicit type casting so implicit type casting will take place here and the compiler will convert this char to int type and then you are printing this that is the reason you are getting 98 because because the unicode for b is what 98 small b is what 98 remember this point fine so here internal conversion takes place now the example 2 what i am trying to do byte b is equal to 10 fine now int i is equal to b it means b holds which type of data byte data right so here also what will happen compiler will convert this byte this byte to what int automatically by implicit typecasting and when you will print this means system dot out dot print ln and b plus in the double quotes three dots plus a so what will be the output in this case the output will be 10 three dots 10 so no compilation error you will not get any compilation error because byte is of how many bytes one byte one byte and int is of four byte right four byte so one byte of data can be easily accommodate in four bytes of variable right that is why no loss here no compile time error compiler will take take the responsibility of doing this implicit type casting that's all about what implicit type casting so now the topic is explicit type casting so you you should be clear about this thing what is explicit type casting or narrowing so let me cover the definition first so the process of converting the data from higher data type to lower data type is called as explicit type casting is it clear so this conversion should be performed by developers or programmers explicitly by using cast operator we will cover this cast operator okay don't worry so it is you know there is a chance of loss of data in this type of casting in explicit type casting or narrowing there is a chance of loss of data 
define why there is a chance i will cover that point so what is the syntax to perform explicit type casting this is the syntax remember this syntax destination data type variable name data type basically this data type is what in most of the cases it is what destination destination data type destination type okay and then here you have to provide the source type is it fine clear with this we will see we will see each and everything now so the following are the various possible conversions where explicit type casting will be performed see this case lower uh, in this case higher data type to lower data type that is why it is called as narrowing so one byte it is of two byte right and what is the character character what tell me character is also of two byte right two byte int is what four byte this is what two byte it is of four byte it is good to write it and then eight byte and then here four byte and then eight byte so in this direction narrowing will take place simple thing if you want to you see uh, narrowing means what narrowing means simple i want to i have a long type of data and i want to store in the int type it means long data size is what 8 byte how can you store 8 byte of data in 4 bytes of space is it possible is it possible to store not possible right so this concept is what here what you are doing narrowing you are performing narrowing So let me cover the example, then you will uh, get to know these things. Okay. So basically, before covering this example, you should know the combinations. So basically, we have this all, this all, 22 specific conversions. This 22 specific conversions on primitive types are called the narrowing primitive conversions. For example, short to byte or short to care, care to byte or care to short into to byte or into short you know and this all are how many 22 specific conversions specific conversions conversions if you want this 22 specific conversions then you have to do explicit type casting because you are the programmer you are the developer you are the responsible person to do this explicit type casting remember this point now let's see example and understand this concept for example i have int a is equal to 130 and then byte b is equal to a i am assigning this a to b tell me one thing before going to that what is the range for byte range for byte is minus 128 to 127 right 127 what you are trying to do in this line Byte B is equal to A. A holds what? 130. But the byte range itself is minus 128 to 127. How can you assign 130 in this byte type of variable? Not possible. So you will get what? Compile time error like incompatible types. Possible lossy conversion from int to byte. This is the reason you are getting the compile time error. Fine. Now, but I want, okay, let it be. If there is a loss also, I I can handle that loss. No problem, okay. Please assign this. So, what is the possible way? By using cast operation, it is possible. You have to do explicit casting. For example, instead of this line, you have to write like this. Byte B is equal to, in this brackets, you have to pass this byte, then A. Because what was the syntax? Syntax was like this only, no? destination data type, then variable name, then data type, in which data type you want to convert that data type, you have to specify inside this brackets and then source type. Fine. So now what it will do, it will, what it will do, the conversion will take place and when you will try to print this B, you will get minus 126. But what you were assuming that I should get 130. Because int a was 130, then why I'm getting this minus 126? This is what called loss. Here loss of data takes place. Loss of data, data 
takes place. Why? Because byte can hold the value between minus 128 to 127. It can't hold the value, uh, you know, beyond this. For And what you were trying to do, you were storing 130. So you will get this output, minus 126. So in this cast operation, by using this cast operation, what you are trying to do, you know, here we have convinced compiler that the value which is present in the source data type variable for example a is within the range of this this cast operator type for example in this case within the range of this byte you are convincing your compiler so that the compiler will not give any error and the second step what is that and we are allowing jvm to reduce source value to cast operator type if its range is greater than cast operator type right and here you can you have seen that the cast operator type is what byte and the range was greater than this range that is the reason jvm reduced the source value from 132 minus 126 fine so uh, these two things internally happens first what you are convincing the compiler that the value which is present in the source data type means in the a variable is within the range of this byte you are convincing and the second thing you are allowing jvm to reduce the source value to cast operator type if its range is greater than cast operator type that is the reason it is reducing the value from 132 minus 126 now minus 126 is within the range of the byte right byte fine i hope this much is clear so here what will happen what happened actually the data size is decreased that is why it is called as narrowing why data size got decreased see int a is equal to 130 what is the data size for int 4 bytes right from 4 bytes and what is the size of byte byte is 1 bytes so this 4 to 1 bytes is what narrowing right narrowing this is what called as narrowing so and the next next example let's see the next example so if we assign floating point value to the integral type by explicit type casting the digits after the decimal point will be lost for example double d is equal to 1 to 3.456 and i'm trying to do a cast operation i am casting this double type of value to int type of value right by by using this bracket and inside this i am giving the int and when i will try to print this value of i i what i will get only 123 after the decimal point everything will be lost or you can say discarded everything will be lost so you will get output is what 123 so i hope this much thing is clear to you so this is all about what all about primitive data type conversions or primitive data type casting so thanks for your valuable time please subscribe our youtube channel for further updates